What's up everyone, welcome back to another Gwent video. First of all, Happy New Year to everybody. It is 2022 and uh, it is the third iteration, the, the third batch update for COVID-19. As because Basically where I'm living right now, lockdown is being, again, instilled slowly, you know. So, yeah, uh, we're going to see how life goes on. But right now, it's basically the third batch of COVID, which is hilarious to look at it, but also kind of morbid. But anyway, let's move on from that stuff. So first things first, today's deck is going to be a Ceres Fearless deck. It is a self-wound Skellige deck. I realize that this is actually one of the few cards I still haven't played uh, and showcased on my channel when it comes to the 12 new cards. Um, I don't think I played a Milva deck, but I didn't want to showcase a Milva deck since there's just so many of them. And I find Ceres Fearless to be a much more interesting card than Milva. Uh, when it comes to pure design basis, I think Ceres Fearless is the most interesting card out of the 12 we got not saying that other cards aren't interesting like Ardal Ibdahi is a very good cool uh, cool design card uh, Jan Kalve as well and Milva is an interesting design it's just that she can be frustrating to play against which I completely understand but let's see what Ceres does so 4 strength 10 provisions she is a human warrior after you've dealt damage to allied units 9 times summon cell from your deck to your ranged row something similar to Hubert Rig Seal order, fully heal an allied unit and damage another allied unit by amount healed. Cooldown 1. This card is a lot of fun. The reason I think this card is very difficult to get a lot of, uh, you know, get full value from is every single point from her needs to be measured and well used, right? Especially the order ability. And another thing is also, uh, so you don't have as much control when she comes out compared to something like Hubert Rake or Mil uh, Aleran or King of Beggars, right? Because... A lot of your self-wound cards are engines, so they just keep on doing damage to uh, allied units, which means that she might just come out at an inopportune time, which is unfortunate, but it is the part. It is part of the card. Honestly, I would not mind seeing this card move from 10 provisions to 9 provisions just for that. Uh, maybe even make a 3 strength then. I just feel like this card it could use that bump to make her even more popular, right? Anyway, let's look at the deck. So first of all, Orisine Ritual, obviously a uh, self wound leader. We're going to be using it with a bunch of different cards to get a lot of value from it. Next up is Mask of Ouroboros. The discard package is too strong for Skelka, in my opinion, to not use it. So I am running Coral, I am running Burner Brand, Morkvarg. I am running one Scald, not two, and I'm running double Jurisac Skirmisher. Uh, Focus here, again, another extremely powerful card in Skelka's arsenal to not run. And there are so many good targets for uh, for this uh, card to resurrect that it's detrimental to not run it. I'll mention the targets as well. So Melisand is the first major card that can be resurrected by Fukushia. This thing is a lot of uh, points in this deck. You have a lot of nice pockets you can put place in between. You can place it in between Vilkarl and Blue by Lugos. You can place it next to a veteran. You can place it next to a single um, armature card that we are running. You can also place it between Harold Houndsnell Skulls. A lot of points there. Uh, and then, of course, once she gets strengthened up, you can resurrect her later on, either via Focusia or using Sigdrifer's Rite. Ceres Fearless, obviously. Royal Decree is going to be our tutor of choice. So our deck is pretty, is kind, decently consistent. Um, but Royal Decree is just to ensure we can, we don't miss the valuable cards. Covenant of Steel, very important. Uh, this defender is here to bait out heat waves. It's here to bait out um, Yennefer invocations, stuff like that, right? Uh, Coral, Sigdrifer's Rite, Burn a Brand. Blue by Lugos. Blue by Lugos is in this deck simply because Squirtle Saskia is very popular right now. If you have a way to play Blue by Lugos and your opponent drops Saskia, you can wipe them. Uh, it will it will require four leader charges unless you get lucky and then you only need two. Um, but because I low roll all the time, it takes four leader charges. So why don't why am I saying four leader charges? Okay, let's see. Saskia is four strength. When they play her, she usually pulls out something that's also four strength. It's either going to be a uh, Dolbathana Sentry, it's either a Gat Witcher, it's a uh, what's it called? Dryad Matron? Yeah, Dryad Matron, Elven Seer, uh, Dolbathana Sorceress. All these cards you'll notice are at four strength. So effective strength on the board is eight. Saskia plus the other four, that's eight. So that requires four charges of blue uh, with blue by Lugos to completely wipe the board. Is it worth it? In my opinion, yes. Getting Saskia out uh, and get getting a kill is very, very good for you. It's not an auto win. Keep in mind that deck is still very strong, but it does push the favor 
more towards the center now you know you have a higher chance of winning if you can if however you have no access to saskia it can be difficult but you know you can still try to you know get out of the round as quickly as possible which is the second alternative you have very strong card i love blue boy logos i think it's a fantastic card uh, and also, the cool thing about this card is if you have Ceres on the board for some reason, you can actually heal him and then keep reprocking him with something like Melusine. Not a bad way to keep getting, you know, essentially infinite value out of him. Very powerful card. Uh, Vilkal is going to be our next option. Uh, just a big point slam card. You drop him, it's essentially 12 points on the board. Uh, really, really, really powerful card. Also, his order ability is something is very useful as well. Don't scoff at it. It can be very useful. Uh, yeah, I think... Uh, and the fact that this guy used to be 10 provisions when he was first released is insane. Like, this guy got nerfed, uh, buffed four times, I believe. He got buffed from 10 to 9, 9 to 8, and then 8 to 7. This is how Power Crypt the card was. That's insane to me. So, yeah. Uh, we'll call uh, Harold Houndsnout. Another very nice proactive play. Uh, if they do kill the Houndsnout, that's fine. You still have the skulls to get value out of. You can just drop, as I said, Melusine in the middle of them. You can also obviously drop your uh, Svalbard Priests. You can use Leader Charge on them. Just a very nice proactive play. Gig Scorp Decoction is to remove any vital cards on our opponent's side. Uh, and then, also, Maxi gives for another consistency card. Now, I can make the, I can see the argument to remove Maxi and run Delirium. Delirium is also another fantastic card that can help you kill Saskia. Uh, I genuinely think this is also a very good alternative. You can also run something like Artifact Compression uh, if you want to. Like if you just need just a bit more removal, then you can run some of these cards here. These are valid options. Don't get me wrong. You can also run a Stunning Blow. That can also be very useful. Uh, and finally, if you feel like it, you could also run a single Raging Bear. It's a nice proactive play, and if it's not even proactive, you can use it on something like a Harold Houndstone Skull, you can use it on a uh, Defender which has armor, just to make sure you have 8 points. But I think personally for me, the best alternative for Maxi is Delirium. Double Jurassic Veteran. This card is insanely good. I think this card is finally seeing the light of the day because of how powerful again it is as a proactive option, again, especially against Squirtle. Scoia'tael cannot answer this easily unless they have a 5 damage removal. And the thing is, that would be only Rebuke or Sheldon's Gags if he's, if he's been buffed by 5. This card, uh, if they use a leader charge on it with Guerrilla Tactics, it gets healed instantly. Uh, which means it, ma it, it makes it awkward for them to, you know, use Milver to get the Death Blow, right? It's such a good card. It's a lovely option. And it, it synergizes again so well with your Melusine or your Melusine, whatever you want to call it. Your Swablo Priest, it synergizes extremely well with half Ru Singer. It's just a very, very good card. As And half Ru Singer, again, very powerful. You can get a lot of heal value on Melusine because if you proc Rain, she damages herself. You just heal her insane value, right? Very powerful card. half Ru Singer is also something that your opponents do want to remove. And as a 5 provision removal bait option, not a bad choice at all. It allows your other engines to stick on the board. Double Swablar Priest, no need to explain, just a nice consistent option. A single Guiding Slash, again for more removal. One single Hame is called, two Skirmishers, and one Armored Drakkar. Now, regarding the Drakkar, I can also see that being replaced with something like a Hermit. Hermit is also a very good card. Uh, you can Essentially what you can do is you can place a Cultist, uh, a Swallow Priest, sorry, and next to the Priest you can place a Hermit. And then next to the Hermit you can place something like a, um, a Veteran. So you essentially have an infinite engine going on there, which is pretty good to have, you know, not a bad choice at all. Uh, another option is Bear Witcher Adept, another very good card to run. Uh, you can also run a Swalbot Cultist. This is also a pretty decent option, actually. The heal can be very valuable, so... Uh, that's another nice option. But this is the deck, guys. This is going to be the list here. Uh, I'll have the deck list in the description below if you guys want to run this deck. It is not the best deck out there. It's definitely a very difficult deck to pilot compared to the more competitive options right now. But it's a lot of fun, and I think that's important. Uh, I think the patch for this patch is going to be, uh, the next patch, sorry, is going to be coming out, I believe, on the 13th of January. So we are quite far ahead, uh, far before, you know, we get some shakeups. Uh, and I think that's mainly because, obviously, CDPR went on vacation for Christmas and New Year. So completely understandable. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to show three games in pro rank. Uh, two of them are against Guerrilla Tactics, unfortunately, but they were actually pretty good games. They do show how good this deck is at handling that uh, leader ability and uh, yeah hope you guys enjoy the games let's just jump right into them all right here we go okay gorilla tactics first up going second hmm. 
Uh, Ceres has to go, obviously. I guess Sigdrift was right. Okay, so which version of Guerrilla Tactics? That's the one thing about uh, Tactics right now in Scoia'tael is that, yes, it can be very annoying to play against Milva, but it has a lot of variations, which always keeps things spicy. You have Unitless, you have Traps, you have Matic, you have uh, the Movement Engine Package one, you know, with Saskia. I like variety, even if it is only with this leader. All right. Keeping that alive, huh? So, uh, I guess I just Giga Scorp this. Probably also have gone into Blue Boy and used Leader Charges, but... I want to be careful about that. It's definitely a consideration to run Delirium over Maxi if you want to fight against Saskia. As we are about to just now. There we go. I kneel before Kaya! no one. I kneel before no one. Okay, uh, drop you. Seen it all already. And then so Makes it awkward for them to handle unless they have rebuke in hand. Because anything lesser than fire damage will instantly heal this thing. Try it, Matron, okay. You see? So they're probably gonna win this round, but we're just gonna take full advantage of our city package. Nice. You do get coral, but sequencing's not the best. I think I get rid of the Hamis call. I think I get rid of Singer. Never mind. Yeah, let's get rid of a Singer. Nothing like some overseas plundering and spring. Um. So this. Okay, dwarf. This is probably gonna pull a cat. Got a hearty hankering for And this, to me, suggests they're running owls or mushy truffle. Yeah, style. Sure. That's right. I like fighting with style. Hmm. I still have two more discard targets. Probably go for. It's unfortunate we didn't draw into a priest. I could royal decree into a priest, though. I think it's better just to do I this. I speak for the lamb to see, and the lady is content. But they're gonna get a lot of points, like three points a turn. One, two, four points a turn, never mind. So I think this turn they're going to pop their TA and that probably means I have to pass. I don't think I can keep up. Good. There's the mushy truffle, all right. We know this is Alzer. Black! Come on! Who's fast? Leader charge, okay. Never out. Yeah. Stumped about. I don't think I have the point. Yeah. Alright. I think four points a turn and with vitality taking five points a turn. Yeah, we can't keep up. Ceres is at eight. Okay, so there's a lot lot left. Bark. I think I'm Mulligan Maxi here, honestly. I mean, it is my dry pass guard if they do pass, but I don't think they're going to pass, which means I do want something better. Alright, Sigrifer on... Veteran, I guess? Royal Degree into Melusine, probably gets Heat Waved. There's a second <sighs> cat for sure. Just do this. Gallagher! Boom. Alright. Both cat witches out of the way. Both the sentries out of the way. Still one more matron when it comes to bronze cards. Don't you fret about me. <laughs> Take care of myself. Uh I don't think they knew how that worked. Cool, well played opponent. Well played. <laughs> And they kill it. All leader charges gone as well. Wow. That was vengeful. That felt very vengeful. Okay, so they're going for Alzer now. 
Children uh, parents Simlis is probably going to come out now. I can't kill it because I don't have the cutting slash in hand. I could focus here though. Is it worth focusing into that? Might be actually. At four, um, so Vilkal becomes a little trickier to obviously proc, but I, if this thing lives, we can do it. Making a bomb. He's out of the way. There's the matter behind me. Right, so let's drop the drop car, or let's go for just. No, nah, I don't want to waste damage on that. Let's go for drop car. I was thinking coral, but I don't want to damage Maddox. So they still have another making a bomb. They have one, one more Elven Seer. Simless, obviously, into Orb of Insights. Alzer. There's a second making a bomb. Alright. Alright, I can do this now. This magic will die to the rain. Okay. Let's not get in the way of the axe. So we could Sigdrifa into Coral in the next turn if we want to. I would prefer to use it on Will Carl, but something tells me we might not get that opportunity. Four, gotta keep that in mind. They're still playing. Okay, I think it's Melusine. Uh, Melusine now. At your age, at two centuries, you behave like you were barely one. Barely one. All right, let's go roll three. Melusine. Mother and daughter together. Let's do this. And then I can slot Priest right here. If I want to play Bill Carl this turn. What? Why? That's a bizarre play. Fill our hearts with wrath. I guess they've just accepted they're going to go for the altar combo, which is scary by the way. Okay, they're going for it now. Interesting. You get a thunderbolt! You get a yeah. thunderbolt! Laurel, come on, Laurel. I hate you! Melina is Okay, they can do something. Wow, great sword, really? Really? Really now. Uh, okay. Ceres is out. Unfortunately, can't use the order ability because she came out at the end of my turn. Oh, my phone's ringing. Oops. I don't think the mic picked it up. If it did, I apologize. But come on. I don't want to play this card. I can pass with Mokwal. I think I have to play right. Uh, let me see. What's with you, Dad? Heal by three. Damage by three, so. Cool. Alright, so we have a 17 point middle sign. Don't have last here though, and Heatwave is always a concern, but I don't know if they actually have it. A lot of expensive cards. Alright, get rid of you. Uh, okay, Defender's fine. So Defender is going to be important. So this is definitely going to be on Melusine. We obviously have secondary swab blood if this somehow gets banished by Squirrel, for example. Do I need a row to be put? This... Sorry, what I meant to say is do I have any row restrictions? No. So we're just gonna play this on the melee. Who's next? Any of you's got the courage? Next we'll play Harold Houndsnout. And then we'll play uh, the veteran. Dimernium Bomb. 
Um, huh, this is actually interesting. Do I want to play this on the back row or the front row? Guess I just. Did you hear? They need us. Because they can click Maddock. Remove all the skulls, but the same thing, Harold Houndsnot would have died then. If they have a bomb left. I don't know, it's a little weird. It's a little weird. I mean, they have to play a unit though, right? So. Alright, never mind. Alright, Matic dies, that's, that's fine. Matic dies. Cool. Um. Stars are all the trophies I need. So we'll do this, and I'll do this. Right, and we finish it off with what do you, you metal sign. Right, I think we win. If your last card is Gord, I don't think you have it, good sir. Yep. There we go. Woo! Cut the grid, or I'll cut your gob. Let's go. They did not know how to handle Milva. <laughs> Alright, GG. Uh, who was it? Lakels. Is that how you say your name? Lakels? Anyway, let's find another one, guys. Okay, Guerrilla Tactics again. This is feeling like deja vu from my last your video. Deductions seem to have waned not one bit. Hmm. Going first this time, okay. That? May not be favorable for us actually. We'll see, we'll see. Um get rid of one of you, get rid of you. Okay, this is nice. Might be too much discard. I think I get rid of the scald here. Or the Fukusia. Okay. Alright, how do I start? So this is a very nice proactive play against Guerrilla Tactics. As I said in the last game, they need to have 5 points of removal, since Leader will just heal it. It makes it awkward for them to play, right? Sorceress. They're not unitless, that's good to know. Unfortunately, I don't have Coral, and I have no access to Coral, or Blue Boy. That would have been a definite player. Again, I miss Cutting Slash, that's unfortunate as well. Uh, so I guess we could just go for the discard. Playing the front row, I guess. Actually, no, that was a mistake. No, are you kidding me? No, Ceres. Nothing like some overseas. Damn it, Ceres. Damn it. Alright, get rid of a half fruit. That's really annoying. They had Milva in hand as well, and I just gave it to them. Never <laughs> have. Making a bomb. Don't you fret about me. Why not kill the crow? The crow was right there. Okay, so I could play you next to this, but then they can bomb it. So I think we'll just take the half I speak for the land to see, and the lady is content. Try to get out of this round. Still haven't played Saskia, they might not have it. I mean in hand, not in the deck. Definitely have Saskia in the deck, but they might not have it in hand. But again, Oniromancy is a thing, so. Sentry. Now they'll need to be charge with this. Okay. Uh, I could maxi and just accept the fact and bow out of the round. I think that's what I want to do. And now I shall die. Okay, decrease on the bottom. That's a little unfortunate. Uh, one, two, three. I mulligan twice. I'm missing my tutors. That's the. I need. Ah, uh, I would like blue boys. So I think. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to take it. I'm going to shove. Uh. I think I'm gonna. Uh, let's shove you on the. Let's shove you on the bottom. I want my uh, access to my tutors. Blue boy, as I said, 
very useful in this matchup. Very, very nice proactive play. Uh, can handle Sasuke if you get a bit lucky, you know. There's Melina, alright, so there I hate you! Curse you, Dwight! Melee roll? Are you gonna use leader charge now? Alright, you are going to use leader charge, okay. Never so the crow goes there. Alright, um. Interesting. Not the fastest amount of points. Now, again, if I drop this, this dies to. But it might force a leader charge out. Maybe I draw Melusine here? Yeah, let's play Melusine. If they have the Heat Wave, they have the Heat Wave. Cool. Don't you fret about me. I can take care of myself. I can take care of myself. Cat, which is Saboteur. Alright. Don't worry. Alright, I'm gonna get out of here. What? Oh. They take the die. Interesting. Interesting. Okay, okay. Alright. Blue by Logos, come on, buddy. Starts at 8, though. Sigrifa is nice. That's our Melu sign. Okay. Could I get the Blue by Logos, please? That's Blue by Logos. I'll take it. Anything else I want? I do want to take the mulligan here, right? Drakkar is not the card I was looking for. I was looking for... One of these three. There's a Saskia. Uh -oh. How lucky do you think I am? How lucky do I think I am? Uh, is it right gigascoping this ever? Let's do it. I'm gonna do this because it has armor. Anything else they drop might not have armor except if it's another sentry. And they played on the melee as well. That suggests they want to play aggressive. Like, you have to play a unit here now. Okay, it's a matron. Fine. That is a little annoying, but... Come on, Lugos. That's good. I mean, we can just wipe the board, yeah. I'm just gonna wipe it. It does make our build call a little difficult to play, but... That's fine. Pauly Dahlberg. That's okay. Um... Stars are all the trophies I need. This is gonna die always, right? Yeah. I can though I can actually res Blue Boy if I want to. I don't know how I'm proccing him, but there's always an opportunity. Is that two by one with no sense would trust the word of us? Yeah, I think they just have the points here. We missed out some of our Yeah. Is that a neophyte? Look, that's a neophyte and a a brigade. Really, really. I shall not fail. Duan. Duan. Ha! This is annoying, isn't it? Accept our sacrifice. That's definitely going to die. Flip your simless oh, arc. Never mind, it gets locked. An ill wind blows. Time to die. I'll do so sword in hand. So you want to lead a judge this? Or this? Both is fine. Right. I think I focus your Focus here that, right? That pulls Ceres out. So the reason I'm doing this is because they don't have leader charges left, so they need to have bombs or maybe like rock throw or something. Is it rock throw or rock barrage? I think it's rock throw. And then next turn, I play Sigrifus right onto the melee row. 
I need to proc you as well, right? Huh. This is gonna get awkward, isn't it? Accursed racists! Accursed racists! Come on, man! I think we're losing. Gaten is a lot. Oh, come on, hit this. Ah, fucking bitch. Four, five, recently. Okay. Goddess, protect you from all evil. Um. We'll hold it. Oh, come on. You fight me, or you watch her die. Um, heal by three damage by three, yeah. Okay, I think we're losing this, unfortunately. Last card is what? The tutor, Stiga Castle. No, that's the mentor. Wait, you can go for mentor? Okay, um. Heal by five, damage by five. Eh. Honestly, pretty close. Pretty close. I'm gonna keep this in. Much more difficult than the last one. But you know what? Not the worst. It was pretty close. Was, I think if I had a better card than Drakkar, if I had Coral or something, we would have definitely won that. Yeah. That's a bit unfortunate. But okay, you know what? Let's find one more game, guys. Alright, here we go. Blaze of Glory. Okay. So thankfully, not another Guerrilla Tactics game. So this is obviously Warriors, with the discard package. Um, what do I have? I have Orc Warg and I have a discard card as well, so that's good. Get rid of you, Gigascorp is nice to have. Probably get rid of Maxi. Alright, cool. It's a decent hand here, we can Mellow Sign with Royal Decree, which is something I do want to do. Because I presume this is Devotion. So the only way to remove it is by using leader or give it a combo, right? Seen it all already, and then some. All right, let's go. Double long ship, always scary, always scary. Um, let's do this. Creates a pocket for Melusine. Melusine. Is it Melusine or Melusine? I say Melusine. It sounds better in my head. Melusine does make sense though. It's a name. Who gives a shit? Pronouns. You have the freedom to pronounce them however you like. Worry not. We're yeah, this is. Uh, they do have Bran in the deck. have Bran in the deck. So what next I can do is I can slot the priest right between these two. So I, then I'll have a cultist for Melusine to keep rocking Rain off from. So that's also going to be nice. On crate. Loot! Loot! Accept our sacrifice! Pinging stuff down, Bloodthirst 2 has been activated. They can actually use Blood Eagle on this to get Bloodthirst 3, if they so wish. Don't do it. Let him live. They don't have Bloodthirst 3. Children, elders, we spare none. We 
spare none. No, I don't want to get this going back. I don't think that's the right thing. In my humble opinion. Uh, let's do this. Let's go with Finn ourselves. No! Actually, yes. You know what? Yes. I don't want to come on now. That's actually a good thing. So they can kill this now. Interesting. Why would you go here? Blood Eagle? You already had Blood those three if you... I mean, you could have killed this. Okay, burn with our coral is always nice to see. I can go half for Singer next, actually. Heal the Melusine. Tirgubi and another Raider. Interesting. Interesting. That's... My lady of the sea. I mean, we are clapping them right now. What's Melusine at? Melusine 15. Obviously, I want to try to win on even so that we can bleed them out of uh, iced in round one. I was just about to say iced. No retreat! Not one step! So, what is going to come out? We might even see leader here because this is at eleven. The lights of overseas London and Sprite. All right, makes sense. Um, I can just giga score with this. All right, still in the lead after ha them having used iced. That is so good for me. I can't even resin with Focusia, so your Focusia is right now Tirgubi. Uh, King Brand, Tirgubi, Harold. This is looking so good for me. Holy shit. I'm willing to play Vilkal, by the way. I don't mind. Conan is deciding. What? Is it Harold? No way you're playing Harold. No, 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 no. You are not playing Harold. Okay, you're playing Focusia. He should be. So I am at effectively uh, 35, right? I'm at 35. I'm gonna do this. One, two. Cool. We are trading so well with them right now. I can't play Ceres, obviously, unless. Yeah, there we go. Perfect. This went so well for us. Holy shit. Focusia, Tirgvi, uh, Iced gone. They have King Bran. They have Harold on crate. More quark potentially. Right. Defender's nice. You're not the greatest. Huh. I do want to bleed them. I do want, I am looking for the bleed, yeah. Oh, we get Burna, alright. So, what I need to save leader charges for? Not necessarily. Maybe Blue Boy? Rock or Hunter. I'm gonna bleed you dry, buddy. I'm gonna bleed you dry, Invader. Or me, I kill you again. So. Cool. I can actually pull Ceres out this round. I can use full leader and then place burner. I'm gonna use leader. That's. I'll take it. Yuta. Bye bye, defender. My only concern about using Skiordal as well. Wow. My dead and cold body. You have to play. There is no way you hero pass here. You know I have the points. That's right, that's what I thought. Let's not get in the way of the axe. And I'll take the pass here. Alright, so I think this is a comfortable win. A win. I think. Uh, Focusia is what I'm looking for. Focusia, Blue Boy. Harold is the card they still have. They have Harold and King Bran. 
Blue boy is good. You're okay. Sarah Snow, bad girl. We don't want you in my hand. Fukushima is fantastic. I am looking for... I'm gonna mulligan you. Okay, that's fine. That is... I'll take that. So, Fukushima target is what? Fukushima is champion. It's Melo Sign, obviously. What is Not it? Not consideration. I'm gonna blue boy this. For the clan! Sarah says at two. Cutting slash. That's fine. So Coral. Oh wow, that's literally perfect. Crack and eat me girly. Look at you. I just realized we might not actually pull Coral out. You see, the thing is, if I want to pull Coral out, no, I have no sign, never mind. I'm being stupid. Very corpses. Feed our food to the crabs where they still live. Uh, let's just do this, I guess. You broke my heart. You shall never find peace. Ceres comes out this turn. I can't use her aura ability because it's end of turn. Wait, what? I damaged these two. Why did it only go down a few da dealt damage to allied units nine times? Wait, what? I mean, we won, so I'll take the pass here, but I s that was weird. That Alright, but that was a little weird. It was I not? She damaged both those units, and she was on two, right? Was she on three or two? Pretty sure she was on two. I might have misremembered. But there we go, guys. That is going to be the video. I hope you guys enjoyed the game. So yeah, Gorilla Tactics can be difficult. Um, obviously, that deck is quite strong. And the pass on even was a smart decision by them. They obviously knew they had the points. I mean, to be fair, we lost that by two points. If I had just drawn something better than the Armored Drakkar, I think we would have definitely won that game. So, there we go, guys. I think Ceres Fearless is easily the most intricate and interesting card out of the 12 we got in December. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys did, do show your support below. Uh, just to quickly end off, uh, when it comes to my single-player walkthroughs right now, December end, there weren't really many games to play. But... Um, January this month, I believe we're going to be getting Rainbow Six Siege Extraction, which is a game I do want to play. So that will be coming out. But I believe, if I'm not mistaken, that's Jan 20th. So there is some time. And uh, yeah, so if you guys do watch me for my single player videos, in case you do, we're going to have to wait for a bit. There we go, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed the video and I will see you guys next time. Take care.